So producing videos nowadays is really common. I mean, we do it all the time. We grab our smartphone, we press record, and we'll record a scene of our cat, a dog, our kid, some scene in the street, something we saw, oh my gosh, and so on. But suppose you wanted to record a chess video. Now you might tell me, well, I'm not interested in producing an entire you know, YouTube channel or something. That's really an investment in time and effort. Okay, but suppose you wanted to produce a video for your club championship, a local federation, maybe just your favorite game that you played, something light, something simple. And you'd like to be able to record something with, you know, just a video like it is here, okay? And maybe a board, for example. So we'll just grab the board here and drag it down. And here we have a chessboard. And this looks pretty good, right? I mean, it's pretty simple. Or maybe you don't want the video all the way down in the corner. Maybe you want to bring it up just a little bit. Okay, that looks a bit better, right? Okay, so suppose you want to do something where you're going to be adding a different background or maybe remove the background like this. And suddenly, well, I have nothing around me. I just have my body and you have the board and the surroundings and whatever background you created. But okay. Let's leave all of those technicalities and cute tricks for later. For the moment, let's just keep the background, in my case, my living room. Okay, so here we have the board and whatever. How can we do this? Is it really hard? No, it's really easy. And I'm going to be showing you how to do this in minutes. So what are you going to need? Well, you're going to need some chess software. In this case, I'm using Chessbase 16, really easy and probably one of the best. It's very attractive, nice boards, configurable. You're going to be needing a webcam at the very least. Now here, obviously, I'm using a DSLR, a fancy camera that I've connected to my computer, but you don't need anything quite that advanced. And we'll leave that sort of technicality maybe for a future video. For now, you'll need that. You'll need a microphone. Wait, a microphone? I have a webcam. Well, okay. Here's the problem with using the microphone from your webcam. And I'm going to show you really quickly what the sound looks like. And you'll understand very fast why it makes a difference. Okay. Okay. So now you can see my voice has become distant. It's kind of tinny. There's a reverberation. It's really unpleasant. And a lot of videos are really ruined by bad sound, much more than bad video. In fact, let's face it, we're really hearing more than we're worrying about, you know, the nice lighting and stuff. I'm going to go back to my microphone. And as you can see, it makes a world of difference. So let's go to the site of OBS Studio, which is the software I'm going to recommend to be able to do your videos. So we just go to the browser and run a search for OBS Studio. You don't need to remember the link. Just remember OBS Studio and you type it in. So when you open the page, you're going to be presented with these options, OBS Studio, Windows, Macintosh and Linux. OBS is a free and open source software for video recording and live streaming, as the web page says. So in our case, we're looking for Windows. So we click on it and it downloads and then we install it. So when you first open OBS Studio, you're immediately presented with this large black square, which represents what it's recording at the moment. You see the bunch of buttons on the bottom, which mean nothing to you. You have the audio feeds, which might be blank, in my case, it automatically picked up my microphone, which is why you can see that little green bar flacking up and down as I talk. And you have the options to be able to set up what you need. So we're going to start first with the webcam, and then we're going to set up the display so that we can record the chess software as well. And that's really all there is to it. So let's start with the webcam. We go to the sources over here, right next to it on the left, and we click on plus to add a source. We do that and we click video capture device. There are a bunch of other options. Don't worry about them. So we click on it. We click on OK. And immediately we can see we appear just great on the video. So next we're going to add the chess software. After all the ideas and to keep us in the center, it's to be able to produce a chess video. So we're going to go down to the options and add another source. We click on plus again and we go to window capture. The reason is that we're going to be opening up a lot of different programs and we wanted to record only one and our, of course our webcam. So we click on Windows Capture, click OK, and it's asking us which one it wants to show us. 
Now, in this case, it already chose the correct one, which is, of course, the chess program. And we have our chessboard, but no video. We're going to go to our video and put it in the front. So to do this, because it's doing this in order, we're going to drag it up to the top so that now our video is prioritized. But what happened to our chessboard? Just a second. You notice this little red outline all around the video? We're going to shrink it. So we're just going to grab the corner and drag it down. There you go. And we can keep it as small or as big as we like. Remember, though, if it's too small and you're trying to make a presentation, you will be kind of invisible. So try to keep it decently sized. It doesn't have to be you, the big showstopper, but make it so that people can at least see you when you're talking. So we'll keep it about this size, just for the show. And we're going to drag it up a little bit. There we go. Or maybe we'll drag it to the middle like we suggested earlier. Perfect. So we have our chessboard on one side. We have our video on the other. And now what do we do? Well, we just go down to the corner and press Start Recording. And that's all there is to it. And of course, while you're making the presentation, you would record it making moves on the board. And that's it, my friends. So happy recording, happy chess, and good mates.